boys and girls! Today, I have these different character activity boxes. We have Paw Patrol, Moana, Disney Princesses, Palace Pets, and Dory! And now, we're going to open the Moana box. One thing I really like about these boxes is that they're made of tin. So when we're done doing all the activities it comes with, we can use the boxes for something else. It comes with these four markers. It comes with an activity book. And on the last page, it has all the answers. It has a coloring book. And we can see Moana when she was a little girl. When she grew up and is older, it comes with a page filled with stickers. Let's take a closer look so we can see the stickers better. And all along the edge, this border is made up of a bunch of stickers. It comes with another activity book, but this one is colorful. And it's a bit bigger than the one we saw first and it comes with a poster with a different picture on each side. How about we use this frozen pen with different ink colors to do some of the different activities in the Moana book? In, in the first activity, we have to guess which characters these are based on this picture they show us. And this one's really easy, this is Moana. And this one is Chief Tui, Maui is over here, for these next two, we have Pua, and over here on top, we have Hey Hey. And we have the answers in the back, so I can see how I did. Woohoo! I got all of them right! So I'm going to give myself a sticker! <laughs> Good job! Ooh, I like this one! We have to try to find the six differences in these two pictures. And every time we find a difference, we color in one of the stars. Ooh, I found one here! The tattoo! Here's another one. This leaf is green and this one is blue. Another difference! Here on his tattoo, he has this circle part here, but on this one he doesn't. Number four! Oh, I found a really easy one here that I hadn't noticed before. And the last one is here on Moana's skirt. She has little holes and here she doesn't have holes. Good job! And it's time to change books! We're going to color one of these pictures. This one, of Moana when she was a baby. Let's start with the sand. And here for the ocean, I'm going to color some parts darker than others. Oh, how pretty! Look at all the vegetation! Wow, Moana looks so cute as a baby. And it looks like she's been very curious since she was a baby. Done! Baby Moana is done. And since I like how it turned out, I'm going to give it a sticker. Good job! And now, we're going to color Maui. And this part of Maui here is made up of different colored leaves. And Maui is done! And now, let's do an activity from this smaller book. I'm going to do this maze and see if I get to the end. Yay! I got to the end! And this one looks so fun. It says Moana meets a lot of monsters on her journey, and it asks us to draw one of the monsters. I'm going to draw the Kraken. Let's put everything back in the box. Ooh, here on the back, it has this gorgeous scene. Let's look at the Palace Pets box. Let's see what it has on the back. Wow, what a pretty picture. Okay, let's see what this Palace Pets Whisker Haven box comes with. It comes with four markers, a small activity book, a coloring book, and a bigger coloring and activity book. And it also comes with a sheet of stickers. Let's take a closer look. And it comes with a poster. Ooh, I love it. Let's look at the other side. Wow. How about we color it? Let's start with Petite. Petite is Belle's pet, and Belle found her next to a frozen lake. Now let's color Beauty, also known as Dreamy. Dreamy is Aurora's pet, so of course, she's a big sleepy head. Now let's color Berry, Snow White's bunny. 
And since Barry is Snow White's, we're going to color her apron Snow White colors. And Barry's tail is white, so I'm going to lightly shade the outside with a light color. Here we have Pumpkin, and she's also white, but I'm going to color her outline aqua. And here we have the mischievous treasure, Ariel's cat. And now let's color Sultan, Jasmine's pet. And before I color the little bird, I'm going to color these stars and the grass. And now let's color the bird. And this is how the Palace Pets poster turned out. Now let's do some of the activities that come in this book. In this activity, we have to connect each pet to their bed. Let's see if I can do this. I'm going to say that this is Sultan's bed. This looks like it would be Dreamy's. Uh, this one is probably Treasure's. This is Pumpkin's. And this one is Berry's. And now let's look at the answers to see how I did. I got it right! So I deserve a sticker! What other activity looks fun? The maze! Let's see if I can help Pumpkin and Treasure get to the birdie. Oh no! I went the wrong direction! Oh, this one's really easy. We need to figure out whose eyes these are. These are Dreamy's eyes, and these are Barry's eyes, these are Sultan's eyes, and these are Pumpkin's. This one was really easy. Now let's look at the other book it comes with. This is also an activity book, but it's smaller and it doesn't have colors. Ooh, this one's cute. It says we have to decorate the three cupcakes. Ooh, I like how they turned out. It says that in each line, there's one that's different and we have to figure out which one it is. Ooh, I figured out that for the first line, it's this one. The difference is that each of these have a button here and this one doesn't. Let's look at the line of treasures. Oh wow, this one's hard. Oh, I found it! This one is the only one that doesn't have this part of the handkerchief. And now, let's look at Sultan. Hmm, let's look at this top part. Everything looks the same. Oh, I found it! It's this one! And the difference is, it doesn't have this part of the hat here. This one's really fun. It says that all the pets are going to the horse races and they want to put on nice hats. And it's our job to design one of the hats. <laughs> Mine didn't come out that elegant, but it doesn't look that bad colored, so I'm going to put a sticker. And here we have the coloring book. I'm going to color this one of Barry with the cake. Ooh, the picture of Barry with her cake is done. And now we're going to put away palace pets because we're going to do princesses. Let's see what the box comes with on the back. Oh, only hearts and some sparkles. The poster. Ooh, Cinderella wearing her wedding dress. That reminds me of the video I did a while ago of the weddings of some of the princesses. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it here and in the description box. And on this side, we have Cinderella, Rapunzel, and Belle. We have the activity book and the colorful activity book. It also comes with this sheet of stickers. Let's take a closer look. How about we start with the colorful activity book? Oh, this one's fun! It says that Snow White counted 10 dwarves, but since there's only seven, it says she wants to find which of the dwarves are duplicates. I see one here, and another one here, and one last one. There it is. In this activity, Merida's mischievous little brothers have hidden a few things. They've hidden a pair of shoes, a bow, and some arrows. 
We have to help Merida find them. And Merida also wants to find her brothers. <laughs> While the triplets don't do a very good job of hiding, they're really easy to find. And they didn't hide the things too well either. <laughs> Here are the arrows, the shoes, and the bow. Oh, it looks like they hid that one well. Oh, it's up here. Wow, Cinderella looks so pretty here. Look at what a beautiful dress. I love this picture. And this is like another test to see which style of princess we are. Let's see, which dress should we pick? Uh, I pick this one. Which shoes? I like the glass slipper. Which jewel? I like this one. And which handbag? Hmm, I like this one. Wow, it looks like I have a very wide sense of style. But I picked mostly bees. And here it says that if I picked mostly bees, I have Cinderella's style. Friends, this activity book has some beautiful pictures. Look at this one of Aurora. Wow, how beautiful. So colorful and pretty. This activity looks fun too. We have to decorate the mask so the princesses can go to the ball. And the mask is done. And this mask is for Rapunzel. And I'm going to put a Rapunzel sticker here. And now let's see what activities the smaller book comes with. Here it asks us which one of these is Snow White's crown. The first hint is that Snow White's crown doesn't have a black jewel. The second hint is that it doesn't have a swirl in the center. And the third hint is that the jewel in her crown doesn't have any curves. So the only one it can be is this one. Whose crown is this? Is it Cinderella's? Is it Ariel's? Or is it Aurora's? Let's find out. Nope, it's not Cinderella's. Let's see, Ariel. Yes, it's Ariel. Yay, it's Ariel's. Ooh, I think I know what this is. I love it, so I have to do it. <laughs> yeah, it's the Rose from Beauty and the Beast. My favorite movie. Pictures to color. I'm going to color Snow White because last time I colored princesses, I didn't color Snow White. Snow White is done. And now let's color the poster. Let's start with their hair. Now let's work on their dresses. And we're going to start with Cinderella's dress. Now Belle's dress. And I'm going to color the roses red. We're going to color these details a darker yellow. And now Rapunzel's dress. Friends, look who I found here. None other than Jack and Gus. And the princess poster is done. Dory! Let's see what Dory comes with on the back of the box. Wow, a beautiful under the sea scene. Let's open the lid. It comes with stickers. Let's look at the stickers. Oh, how cute. It comes with a poster to color. Ooh, it's Dory with Nemo and Marlin. And on this side, it's the teacher with the students. Friends, this poster looks small, but it's actually really big. Look at the activity books and then look at the poster. It takes like an hour to color this poster. Let's start with the activity book. Oh, it's mostly just writing. Mm, there's this quiz that looks really fun because it tells us if we're more like Dory, Marlin, or Hank. So I'm going to do it to see who I get. It says, what's your favorite color to wear? I like blue. You're going on a big trip with your family. You feel, <laughs> I want peace and quiet. <laughs> what is your favorite thing about yourself? I'm brave. What kind of people do you like to hang out with? Oh, I like kind people. Let's see, I got mm, three Bs. Ooh, I'm Dory! <laughs> this one's fun. It's like what we did in Palace Pets where we need to find which one is different. 
Oh, this one is different because it's missing this fin that all the other ones have. Uh, this one is different because it doesn't have this dot that all the other ones have. Oh, this one is different because this one has the black dot that the other ones don't have. And this one is different because the other one has these spins here that the other one doesn't. Oh, this one's fun. This one says our job is to draw Hank's camouflage. Okay, the coloring book. Oh, I love Dory as a baby! And I really liked how this one turned out, so I'm going to put this fish. Ooh, this one is pretty for coloring. And this part is really easy because it's all red. Hank is done! We're going to put the Dory activities away because we're going to do Paw Patrol activities! Let's look at the back of the box. Let's open it. It comes with markers. Ooh, it comes with a poster that's already colored. Ryder, Chase, Marshall, and Rocky are all on here. It comes with Paw Patrol stickers that you can make a frame with. And we have the activity books and the coloring book. Let's start with the small activity book. Here we have to find all these words. The first one we have to find is tail. And I found it here. Here's paw. Here's bark. Nose. Fur or fuff as mom found. <laughs> Tongue is up here. And woof, right here. In this activity, we have to find out which car matches each dog. Oh, I love connecting the dots. Let's see what we have here. Oh, I know what this is. I think it's the lookout tower. Now let's move on to the big activity book. Oh, this one looks fun. It reminds me of the Where's Waldo books. And the things we need to find are this balloon, this cupcake, this tennis ball, and this traffic cone. And we also need to find these pieces of the picture. Oh, easy. Here's the tennis ball. Here's the cupcake. And here's the cone. And here's the balloon behind Chase. Now let's look for these pieces of the picture. I saw this one over here. This is this part of Ryder. This one is Chase. Oh, this one's easy. <laughs> it's Rocky. This one is super easy. It's Suma with the bone. And this, I think it's this part here. And let's see if I can do the maze this time. I helped Rocky find Marshall. And now that we're done with the activity books, all that's left is the coloring book. I'm going to color Sky because she's my second favorite Paw Patrol character. And we're done with the Paw Patrol activities. Friends, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you should so you can get a notification every time I upload a new video and you can watch it right away.